As farms across the heartland have gotten larger and more productive, the equipment that they've used is modernized as well. We're talking about GPS technology, so they know where to plant their seeds and spray their crops. But you know what? There's still a lot of that old equipment around, some of it's steam powered. You won't find it much in the fields anymore, but you will see it being honored at places like this here in Woodland, California. On a hot afternoon in a dusty Northern California field, the sound of steam engines, the smoke from wood-burning fireboxes. The tractors that helped farmers break this soil more than 100 years ago are back. That's the best show, harvest spectacular. Dozens of antique tractor aficionados are on hand to get hands-on with these restored machines. It's called the best show after the best tractor, which is an early California tractor company, which was uh, formed by C.L. Best. The development of steam-powered mechanical harvest equipment in the 1800s revolutionized agriculture, but the giant heavy equipment would get stuck in California's soft ground. Clarence Leo Best tractor designs helped to deal with the problem. At today's tractor show, one of Best's early tractors stands out high above the horizon. How high up in the air are we right now, Dean? 15 feet at about this level. 15 feet in the air. I mean, it's a nice view up here. It is. You know, it's funny, people think about old tractors being small, you know, and the new equipment that they've got now being big, but this is from what year? This is 1906. 1906. 1906. What would they have used this for back then? Here in this part of the country, this was built with these big wheels specifically for the soft ground around Stockton and around this part of the country, specifically. Did it work well for them? It did. They sold a lot of these. They sold a little over, close to 300, I think, total running, which was a good run for an engine like this. Best went on to perfect the track-based tractor using tracks instead of wheels. After 15 years in business, he joined with the Holt Manufacturing Company to become Caterpillar. And you see that track design in use today on earth-moving equipment around the globe. While best designs are the highlight, there are many other tractors on display here today. I'm a tractor driving man. If I'm bragging, don't mind me. When you're looking for me, in that tall seat you'll find me Plowing a field with a sunset behind me Dick Venerbeck brought his 1917 case tractor. It's being used today to demonstrate grain thrashing. It's steam powered, we're burning wood. Uh, today we're burning incense cedar because it smells nice and it, and it burns quickly. Uh, we need to make a lot of energy. We're, we're, we're turning a lot of water into steam to run this engine. It's a 11 inch piston and an 11 inch bore right here behind us, right? That's amazing. 75 horsepower, one cylinder. 75 horsepower, with, so that thing is cranking right That's now. It's really cranking. This thing has so much torque, it could pull your house oh, easily. Wow. And so what's going on down there? Right now we've harvested the field and we've stacked the grain in shocks in a pile and the, the shocks are being thrown into a thing called a thrasher. And the thrasher separates them and takes the heads of the grain off. Come on over here, I'll show okay. you. These are the heads of the, of the grain. They get thrown into this machine behind me and it separates these and... Oh wow, look at that. And there's the grain. There it is. And so the machine takes the chaff and blows it out separates the grain and it goes into the bin. This goes into a machine to turn into flour and Wonder Bread. <laughs> Today's festivities are really a celebration of just how much tractors and harvesters revolutionized agriculture. And to get an idea of just how tough it was before these big wheeled beasts were around, a 30 mule team is on hand to demonstrate harvesting. It doesn't take long to realize just how challenging it was. For us to have the future, we must restore the past. We must pass it on. We need to know how a loaf of bread is made and how arduous it was. 
There's so much history here. Oh, today. it's really wonderful, isn't it? Is it what, what do you think when you walk around here and see all these? Uh, sometimes I think I was born 100 years too late. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a semi-retired semiconductor executive, and I'm, I'm reverting to my hobby to have you fun. Love it. I do. I go one extreme to the other. This is the way I used to decompress. Oh, wow. And this is, you know, it's really fun. It's quite a hobby. It really is. It's the world's heaviest hobby. <laughs>